Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon again and obviously I'm back here in my house in Rhode Island after a week away in Seattle. Now many of you noticed I wasn't able to upload a lot of videos while I was away, but if that ever is going to be the case, which it will be again in the future, go ahead and check out Michael Corey from Michael Corey Fitness. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michael. <laughs> So you guys probably know me and him go way back. We also troll each other's videos in the comment section. Some of you guys have picked up on that. Others of you really haven't picked up on it and you think we're serious with some of the comments we make. But he has a really solid channel, not to mention he's coming out with a cookbook. I know a lot of you guys like my recipes and he is honestly the iron chef of YouTube when it comes to cooking. Now besides that fact, my trip to Seattle was a lot of fun, but unfortunately, I was a lot more busy than I assumed I would be, meaning that I had talked with some of you about making plans to meet up and train, but honestly, I just didn't have the time to do that. While I was there, however, I did try to document some of my trip and I put up a ton of pictures on Instagram, including one posing video, kind of. Not a video, I should say a picture, which I rarely ever do, but a lot of people were kind of busting my chops about the food choices I was making. And of course, you can go to my Instagram, which is linked below, to see those food choices. And then I kind of put up a picture just to say, shut the fuck up. No, uh, no, uh, no offense intended, of course. Uh, but moving on from that, I also trained at a gym called Seattle Fitness, and it was probably one of the most interesting gyms I've ever been to, meaning that they literally had almost every single piece of equipment you could ever imagine or want of a true hardcore powerlifting gym. So I'm talking chains, I'm talking you know deadlift and barbell jacks, I'm talking every kind of assortment of anything you could ever want, but at the same hand, it had the rule set of a Planet Fitness, so you couldn't be loud, you couldn't even bring your phone onto the gym floor, you weren't allowed to bring in anything except for a towel, everything else had to be put in your locker. So it was really stringent and it was kind of a look but don't touch policy, which was really strange to me because honestly, it was a really nice gym and I would have loved to get some video in there. Now I will be going back to Seattle, I believe in July. So if that's the case, I should have more notice this time. I literally found out about two days before I was going last time. So hopefully we can plan something out. But I do have some plans this weekend to get some fresh new content that's actually specifically related to fitness, to educating you guys, to helping you guys, maybe even a cooking video or two, who knows. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and stay big.